thought Joe and Flo Bjorki Peterson could cook some nice pumpkin scones, but Margie Kirkwood, she's going to cook us some potato scones. Uh, well, why not? You know, Fantastic. if you can do it with pumpkin, you can do it with potato too, can't you? But potato well, you really so are. versatile. You're going to give Flo a run for money. Well, let's quickly make them because I think okay. they're really good for the Easter holidays and, you know, everybody can get out there and make them. Just a little bit of sugar enhances sugar. the flavour and a little bit of butter in there right. or margarine, whichever, mm. and you can just work that up together. Mm -hmm very lightly and, or very roughly or just yes. cream it together. It's very hard because it's chasing around in a big bowl with very little, isn't it? Are you getting anywhere there with that? And an egg, just one slightly egg. beaten. One, one egg. egg, so you can keep I, mixing for no, me No, this is a great recipe for kids. Yes. I used to love making scones when I was a and kid. And then it's good to eat it up. It's good to eat, of course. It? That's the bonus. So it's really yep. a quick mix. Quick mix. Uh, here we have half a cup of mashed potatoes, so mashed save potato. it from the night before. Any particular potato, Margaret? Yeah, now, when you go out shopping for your potatoes, there's potatoes and potatoes, isn't there? Yes. And some yes. are better for yes. some things than others. Yeah. So, what sort of potatoes? Well, on our bench over there, mm -hmm. we do have some white potatoes and some red potatoes. White but potatoes, red there's potatoes. many different kinds of red, red potatoes. potatoes, and the red ones are called Desiree. Uh, and they are uh, especially fantastic. chosen because they don't mash up well and they're not good for my scones. Well, a lot of people get those mixed up with Pontiacs, don't they? I do, but the, the Pontiac, when you cut, is pure white. Pure white. This one is is yellow inside yep. and buttery. I did not use that in the scones. Right. Now, this other one, when you cut it, it is a white one. It's a very good mashing potato. Mm -hmm. And it's a collar band. And all of these are out in the stores waiting to be purchased for their various okay. uses. So you now, the that egg, up. the butter, and the sugar, potato, and a lot of milk mm -hmm. going in there. Milk. And flour. flour. And it's self raising flour. Self raising flour. Gotta watch out or it might mm -hmm. spray yeah. us. And this is the best part of making scones, yeah, isn't it? A little bit of cheese. A little bit of cheese, yeah. A little All bit right. of parmesan. Parmesan. And work it around. Work it around. Get, oh, it's really good. And I'm going to flour my kitchen bench. I've greased my tray. Mm -hmm. Got my oven set. My oven set is 200, uh, 210. There you are, Margaret. Thank you. Really? That is okay. absolutely brilliant. Good. I can tell you've done that before. And we'll put this out on Something the... Something nice about working with dough, isn't it? It's a nice feeling, isn't it? It's a nice feeling. I'm glad you didn't put your hand in no, it. No. <laughs> so while I'm just... Well, I was out in the garden earlier with a bit of dynamic lift. Oh, oh right? stop it, stop huh? it. You're terrible. It should have had a little bit of flavour. Go away. Okay, so I'm going to knead this all up together mm. and then roll it out with a rolling pin and cut it into circles. Good. And while I'm doing that, I have a lovely chowder in my saucepan. Wow. And it's made with this. smoked fish, yep. a little bit of red pepper, hold it up an onion. Give it a you stir and really lift up. You really should be here in the studio. The aroma this afternoon coming from this, what do you call it, chowder? Chowder. Chowder has potato in it. Oh, and the potato no. I have chosen is the Desiree. Mm. Because it doesn't break up into little pieces and go mushy. Mm -hmm. So you really can, you know, pick it out when you're eating it. Okay. What else Now, have you got I in want there? you to just, at the very end of cooking, and the recipe, mm -hmm. of course, we'll give to them later, mm -hmm. before you All do, right. could you put some... Sherry in, just to give it a kick. Oh, just a little bit of dry sherry. That's a sherry, sherry my dear. Just a little bit of sherry in. Okay. So that the everybody, whole amount? The whole amount, so whole everybody whole will get some. And <laughs> boil that up for the kids so there's oh, no alcohol oh, left. some sherry. You sure it's sherry? It smells like brandy. Oh, oh. You Margaret. Okay, get it nice and hot and then okay. serve it in the bowl. And then on top of each portion, you can sprinkle a little of that grated cheese and some chives. So can you serve a little soup for me? I because that was triple Hennessy you put in there. Along with that soup, we're going to have the potato scones, mm -hmm. but they're yeah. not going to be made as fast as you've made that soup. Yes. That is the fastest yeah. chowder I've ever seen made. What, about three quarters full, Margaret? Oh, more. You more? know, what? that's the kind of meal you I like at home? when I'm Here on my go. own. I love a chowder. I love well, a chowder. Well, the nights oh, that's are great. becoming cooler, aren't they? And oh, and since the daylight saving. Daylight, well, that ends change. this weekend. That's right. Can you put it? some cheese and some greenery on that cheese for and greenery. me? And with this one, I'm going to brush these scones when they're filling up my tray. What's wrong? Uh, Am I bossy? No, no, no never. Bossy? <laughs> Just keep bossy. moving, mate. Okay. The shop's shut at six or something. <laughs> <laughs> and on top of this, we're going to put a little bit of grated parmesan cheese. Top back on there. Yeah. And they go into the hot oven and they okay. cook until they're done. Mm. And, and here they are. Voila. Dinner. Look. And that what you do with your hot scones when you take them out of the mm -hmm. oven is you take them off the tray. Yes, I have my asbestos gloves on. Oh, yes, and me with my asbestos mm -hmm. fingers. And you wrap them in a, a cloth because oh. that keeps Why the you, steam in. Keeps the steam in and keeps them nice and moist and stops them oh, well, drying out. for decoration. No, and then when you're ready, you take your lovely scone. Scone. Put on, you always break a fresh that? scone Put that on the plate and there. you butter it. A little bit of butter. And we're going to serve these lovely potato scones with our chowder. There we are. Look and the that. recipe is oh, available wonderful. here at the channel. But also, there's lots of cooking demonstrations yes, going on Let's around Adelaide. Let's have a look Adelaide. at where you will be. Friday the 27th of March, 10am to 2pm, Bilo Marion and Bilo Parabanks. You're going to be busy. 
There we are. And uh, for the recipe, you can write into Cooking Today, Care of Adelaide Today, Post Office Box 621, North Adelaide, 5006. Busy time with potatoes. Margie, or Easter, thank you it? very much. Thank I love you. potatoes. Yeah. And you're fabulous. Bye. Okay. Now, we're going to find...